a quick reaction, okay? Quick reaction. Syndicated radio host Nancy Skinner, columnist Ann Coulter, author of Guilty Liberal Victims and Their Assault on America. Nancy Skinner, this is an outrage, and it's a Democratic outrage. They don't pay their taxes up there in the Hill. They're making 50% more than private sector workers, and the government's job roles have expanded while the private sector job roles have declined. How are you all going to defend this one? Larry, you know what? If you look at the same article in USA Today, wages have fallen 20%. It is not so much that those annual 3% COLA raises are exploding the federal uh, payroll. It's that the rest of us out there are losing benefits, are losing wages. You have the haves, the really rich AIG financial Wall Street wizards, and the rest of us are losing. Now, you're, you're bemoaning the benefits. They cost yes, too much money. I That's am. why we're the trying benefits. to fix health care. That's why Obama is trying to fix Those benefits are four times what private sector workers do. Ann Coulter, this and so smacks why don't we of democratic them? public sector unionism that will bankrupt this country. I want to get you to weigh in on this because this should be a hot election issue. A hot election issue. It should issue. be, except that it's a problem when you have everyone working for the government voting for the party that will continue those benefits. And any Republican who runs saying, no, I'm going to cut them back, I promise you no government employee will vote for them. Well, maybe the military will. But they don't pay their taxes in. And by they the way, you are excluding state and local employees. Uh, right. Uh, and there are a lot, or government employees, there are a lot of them. We get more accurate statistics, interestingly enough, from the Bureau of Labor Statistics right. on, sta on state and local em right. government employees than on federal employees. They're discouraged. Eight and, and a half much. million private sector workers lost their job. 93,000 government sector workers got new jobs. And they have a 50% differential. And state and local so government Larry, workers. And Nancy so Skinner, Larry, on top of all your steady... corruption, the culture of corruption, <laughs> Nancy Skinner, not you personally, <laughs> but your party, your friends, your colleagues, and your pals. They don't pay their taxes. Yeah, so that is an outrage. All right, Larry, so what we need is we need a more <laughs> stable workforce. We need good, everyone needs good benefits. We've got to reduce health care costs. You're against health care reform, but yet you bemoan the cost of these uh, health care plans. That, that's because of the health care companies are raising the cost. It's not the public sector unions. It is the health care costs the that are raising plan, them. That will just give us more government workers with pensions at 90% starting at age 50 yeah. and 20 vacation days, 10 holiday days, 13 sick days no There's no public option, Ann. This is all a private sector exchange thing. There How are you? 8 billion commissions. <laughs> Oh, the commissions. No public the commissions option. that keep people f off of pre existing conditions. Those those nasty commissions that keep people alive. Wait, are you claiming you don't that, want to pay the, for that them. either of the health care bills and either of the house, house or the Senate will not add government workers? Is that what you're claiming? Because that is the craziest thing what anyone I am has ever said is to me. On net, on net, what they will do is reduce premiums and our long term budget right. deficit. And eight it might take I don't want to get, get in the weeds on health care. I'm sick of the weeds on health care. Health care is going down and public <laughs> yes, it hates is. it. But look, I I got better okay. idea. I'll bet right. you, Larry. On this issue of government workers, salaries, benefits, and tax fraud, I have a better idea. Cut the government workforce. Cut the government well, workforce. You may have That's to what's first missing here. Eight and a half million right. private sector workers lost their jobs. Right. We should have had a comparable amount of government workers losing their jobs. If we're going to belt tighten in the private sector, we should have belt tightened in the government sector, and we never did it. And goofball Republicans never called for it because they don't have any chutzpah, chutzpah, <laughs> whatever the hell it's called. Well, A, that's why we want you to run, Larry. Oh, B, um, if they say that, they won't be voted into office because all of those government workers. No. Are going out and voting. All of those Tea Party taxpayers <laughs> will vote for this platform. I want a 10% riff of the government unions and the government workforce, not including the I departments. I want them not voting if they get their We're salaries gonna come back. from the tax. We're going to come back. Nancy Skinner's going to tell us about the democratic culture of corruption with <laughs> Ann Coulter. This is the most Great. one I've had in weeks and months. I'm Larry Kudlow. Stay with us. This here's the Kudlow Report. <laughs>